Praise God. What a time in the presence of God here in this broadcast this week. It's been such a blessing knowing that, yes, you can have goals, but knowing that God is willing to make you achieve it is something else. It's something that really comes. It, it, it gives because there are young people that they have goals, but they, they think, can God really help me achieve it? So knowing that, you know, God wants to achieve your goals, He's putting you a capacity to have results. And knowing that for sure, that whatever it is, as soon as you step out in faith and start working, start acting and start acting your goal, then those results will be expressed. So you get up, and I think in the previous broadcast, we see the fact that, you know, God wants us to be diligent, to be hardworking as young people. Whatever you're doing, do it more. Do it with all your mind. Make sure it's your best. We said last, in the last broadcast that if you're studying, say study to make sure you are approved in the study. So until you are approved, it's like a student who is writing an exam or doing, until you, you've seen your score, until what you, the result, you don't stop studying. So you study until you are approved. But today I know that God has put something special again for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I, I welcome again our special guest here today for today's broadcast. Amen. Thank you very you very welcome, much. sir. Uh, thank you very much, Pastor. Mm -hmm. um, in pursuing our goals, Amen. we must also know who we are. Amen. It's very important mm -hmm. uh, because your ability to reach your goal mm -hmm. really depends on who you are. Amen. Uh, the Bible tells us in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 5, mm -hmm. verse 13, that we are the salt of mm -hmm. the earth. Amen. And of course, in verse 15, there, it says, We are the light mm -hmm. of the world. Amen. Now, if you know who you are, Mm. Then your goal must be within God's purpose. Mm. Hallelujah. For you to be able to reach that goal. Mm. Uh, if you set a goal outside of God's purpose, mm. you are likely to make a disaster of your life. Mm. Uh, because there will be too many things you will not be able to contend with mm. uh, that may stop you along the way. Mm. But when you are pushing your goal within the context of God, mm. then the focus of heaven is on you. Amen. And at every point, you're able to access heavenly assistance mm. and help to reach your goal. But the goal must be within, within the mm. purpose of God. Amen. Uh, that is why if you are pursuing a goal that is not a blessing mm. to humanity, mm. you are not likely to make a success. Mm. Because along the line, I that you will offend the Lord. Mm. Is that you know uh, God releases you know uh, 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 removes his defense from around you, mm. and a man enters into a problem. Mm. But when your goal is a blessing to humanity, mm. then you will find help along the way in life. Mm. Now, what do we mean by this? Uh, if we look at the story of Samson, mm. I mean, Samson was a man who was raised by God. Mm. To be a deliverer Praise of Israel. God. Praise but along the line, his goals were totally mm. at variance with the God. God. And a deliverer became a captor, mm. a captive, sorry. Captive. Mm. He was supposed to deliver, but he was captured by the enemy mm. and imprisoned. Mm. And so the purpose of God was, <laughs> was not fulfilled in his life. And so there's something remarkable about that story. You know, when they caught him, there were, I think, some things that they did to him. Yeah. The Bible says they removed his eyes. He removed his eyes and was very important. Yeah, he uh, lost his vision. Yeah, exactly, he lost his vision. And, his and there is somebody mm. who was supposed to be the light mm. of the world. Mm. Was supposed to show the way. Mm. Was supposed to deal with the enemy of Israel mm. and show them how things should be done. Mm. But he could not be that. That's because he left, he left the, the environment, the environment of, of God. Mm. He, he removed himself out of the purpose of God and mm. was pursuing a different purpose in life. For, for the Bible says he became a caricature, he became exactly. an amusement, something like a man that when he comes, he causes amazement. Exactly. Now begins to cause amusement. Exactly. From amazement that is it. to amusement. Exactly. So he, he was so, fighting for them. Mm. Another example is King Saul. Mm. King Saul, of course, also left the purpose of God mm. and was pursuing, pursuing personal mm. uh, agenda. And in the midst of it, God left him. <laughs> and because God left him, you know, he thought he was still a king. Whereas he was no longer a king. <laughs> that is powerful. Another king was choosing in his place. Mm. So if a man fails to realize who he is, mm. 
and you are going to you are pursuing a purpose that is outside God's mm. uh, you are pursuing a goal that is outside God's purpose, mm. you are likely to be left alone. Mm. And when that happens, success will be far away. Mm. That goal will become a mirage. Mm. In fact, so 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 enter diplomacy. Exactly. He enters that's like a king store with Agar yeah, because he's killed everything. Don't be a diploma, don't be this. He yes. left my God. Yes. Do you have a goal? I just I, I'm just getting I'm, I'm getting so blessed here. Are you pursuing that maybe you can sing, there are musicians out there, you can yeah, yeah. sing, you can do some things, you can play anything you do. Yeah. But 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 the truth is that if you leave off the present or the purview of God, when you leave off, you know, from off the plan of God and the purpose of God, because I believe that there is an intent in the mind of God to allow you to have that goal. Exactly. Exactly. But as a plan, and so if you look, if you take your eyes off that intent, and then all people maybe want to go for selfish reasons or want to just you know go to get aggrandized or anything, then that means you are about to hit a rock. Yeah, God will shut up the heavens. It will rain brass instead of rain. Oh God says it will start raining brass instead of rain. Things will get high. We lose all the contacts and connections. So God says, hey, make sure you stay within. I love what the Bible says. I think the fourth Proverbs, I think verse 23 and 24. He says, guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it are each other words. He says, you know, God, stay within. He said, God, what do you have? Guard your heart with all diligence. Make sure that you do everything you can to stay within the place of God. Okay. The question, the first question God asked Adam was, where are you? Adam, where are you, Adam? You know, was he was he was in the same garden. He was. He, he was in the garden. Why would God ask him, where are you? Yeah. He said, Lord, I, I, I heard your voice walking and I just, he said, uh, God knew that because spiritually God could no more see Adam on that position of grace and dominion. Exactly. Even though he was in the garden, maybe you are in, you are in, maybe you are in Nigeria, you are in London or New York. Yes, God is here in New York. But God asked him, where are you? Are you? you are not in New York. You're not. <laughs> You've lost that place. Even though he was in the garden of the blessing, he has lost his position in the realm of the spirit. And the key thing to know here mm. is very important. Mm. Is that the purpose and the goal is given by God. Mm. Most of the time we often think or believe that our goals are set by ourselves. No. Mm. That purpose you are pursuing in life and that goal mm. is created by God. So when you deviate from it mm. and begin to do other things, you are likely to have problems. Mm. Now, the two characters that we mentioned, Samson and Saul, Praise God. they focus the good work, mm. designed to pursue one, and really crafted mm. and planned by God. But when they decided to pursue personal and then mm. outside that goal and purpose, mm. they failed. So for, for everyone under the sound of our voice, listening to us, mm. when you, your mind is with God, Mm. And God has given you a purpose in God to pursue in life. Stay within that boundary. Mm. Praise God. Because any attempt to or remove yourself out of it, mm. or to be distracted, or to be attracted by other mm. problems, mm. you know, then you are likely to have a problem. Praise God. And mm. so it's very important for us to know. Mm. Stay within, within God's plan. Exactly. Stay within God's purpose. Mm. Stay within God's idea. Try to know what is God's intent and plan for making sure you have that goal. Mm -hmm. It says stay within it. Stay within a place where God can reach you. You know, because uh, when 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 Isaac saw the farm, he wanted to leave like his father did. He wanted to leave Gira uh, to Egypt, and God said, "No, Isaac, stay no, here. <laughs> Don't go, because if you go to Egypt, I'm not able to reach you." Is it so, so Isaac stayed there, and by the blessing of the Lord, so all the matters is being able to stay where God intends and wants you to stay. So the blessing of God can reach you, accomplish the goal. And I believe so much that God wants to take glory from that goal. Amen. He wants to be praised from that goal. Are you called to sing? Are you called to preach? Are you called to be a doctor? What are you called to do? Yes, you do. But, but the truth is that God wants to take glory from it. So it's important you stay within it. And I know. So when I see that, when God sees that His glory is our motive, heaven just releases resources. When the glory of God is the motive behind what you do, you will bless. So in achieving your goal, make the glory of God your motive. Make the make 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 the praise of God your motive, and God will release all that you need to get it achieved. Amen. So I like you to pray for those that have walked away, like the prodigal son. He took the father. It was the father's wealth. But the Father in grace, at least like He does to all of us, He gives us a share of His wealth. Take. 
And this boy took the wells and went far away, disconnected from the Father. But one day the Bible says he came to his senses. I like you to pray for those who are, yes, the gift things they have are from God, from the Father. But they've taken that gift and away, they've gone away from God to magnify the enemy. We want to believe God for a restoration. Praise God. Father in heaven, we thank Hallelujah. Father, we pray at this moment for everyone, every man, every woman who is disconnected. Hallelujah. Disconnected from his or her source. Mm. Those who have strayed away. Mm. Those who have despised mm. the things of God in their lives. Father, we ask, oh Lord, that there will be restoration. Amen. Your power can restore. Amen. Every lost glory in their life, Father, please restore. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Mm. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Whatever you're going through, don't forget this. God wants to make you a blessing. God bless you.